guys, welcome back to Real Talk. I'm with my friend John from YPN again. How are you doing, John? I'm doing great, man. How are you? Good. I'm fantastic. I mean, considering <laughs> it's pandemic, but here we are talking about it again. Why? Because we want to promote some positivity. We want to assure some people, right, uh, of all these uh, craziness that's going on. You know, we try to kind of keep people informed. That's what we're trying to do over here. So today we want to talk about um, how is uh, real estate professions that, that is affected during the pandemic. What, what's your thoughts on this, John? What are some of the things you know that's been happening since the uh, since the COVID nineteen hits? I mean, so just what I'm seeing with uh, the professionals who work under me is is that right now, uh, those who had a system uh, that would allow them to just constructively build their business uh, are still doing well. Um, they've kind of transitioned more to a support role. They're doing more wellness checks on people instead of just calling about business. Uh, but generally, because they had that organization prior. Uh, they're doing pretty well. Uh, the agents who who maybe didn't have their businesses systematized or planned out, uh, they're in kind of a worse position. So it, it just kind of points to me, we, we really want to make sure we're ready for the ups and downs. That's right. I mean, I know as far as different ways of approaching or, you know, when it comes to selling properties or just looking at the property in general, you're no longer, well, for a period of time, you're no longer allowed to do open housing. Is that correct? That's correct. And then you are supposed to actually uh, sign a waiver uh, before you enter into a property that you're fully, uh, well, the, the sellers are supposed to assure the buyers that the house is being disinfected and doesn't have COVID-19 or COVID coronavirus for that matter, sorry. And the uh, sellers or, or the lookers who are interested in seeing the properties, they're supposed to kind of protect themselves with uh, face masks, gloves, and all that good stuff. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I mean, we're seeing that. We're seeing now notices posted at the property. Yeah. Um, I mean, just I, I think it's bringing maybe some more organization and some more safety to the process that might stay there for the long haul. The last thing that we did hear about these regulations regarding showing showings and the prevention of uh, open houses, we expect those to be one of the last things they phase out. That's right. And then uh, people are taking, uh, in, my, in my opinion, spectacular, you know, protective measures against, you know, anything that may arise out of this whole thing. So I actually personally see that as a positive thing. Mm. Uh, people are keeping themselves protected and while we're keeping this thing you know moving forward so um, and i know as far as uh, ways of showing properties people have been doing a lot more virtual tours right oh so, yeah so you know there's cameras or techniques that you can use to actually be able to see uh, the homes without even having the person step out of their own comfort zone yeah, I mean, some of my agents, with the permission of the uh, the owners, are are showing homes on Facebook Live to oh, their wow. uh, to their followings. So yeah, well, that's that's cool. I mean, I, I I would think that in the future, once the virus goes away, some of these uh, good goodies can still remain, and you know, a bit more, we're gonna see interesting place of this whole marketing afterwards. Yeah, definitely. Speaking of which, uh, well, how do you see the uh, you know the pandemic has reshaped our future as far as you know maybe different segments of our industry you know retails or whatnot? Okay, I mean you mentioned retail. Uh, I, already, I can see how uh, there's now selection pressure for uh, larger uh, operation spaces and less dine-in spaces. So I'm talking about food uh, operations, for example, right? Uh, because there's just going to be so much more carryout. Uh, they want things structured for less of a dine-in experience, mm -hmm. uh, whereas right now a lot of them are wishing they actually had more operative space in their processing, so like their kitchens and stuff. Right. Uh, I mean, that's one thing that, that I'm already seeing. Uh, I think work habits are going to change. Uh, like what we're using right now on Zoom, uh, as you were mentioning earlier, it's the social stigma is gone. A lot of bosses who would have thought that it was unreasonable uh, to, let a, to let someone work from home are now, I think, going to be a lot more amenable to that. That's right. Wow. I mean, as, as far as we know, because I do, I practice architecture and planning on the side as well. I've shared that with everybody in, in our previous shows. Um, so even for architect, you know, there, there, there's a lot heavier focus on experiential retails, right? So you don't just go into a space to enjoy the food or, you know, try their venues anymore. People want experiences. So there's a lot of experiential stuff that's tied into that. So I'm actually personally excited see what's upcoming you know for, for that matter and also even for residential homes you know i've heard 
um, people are sort of turning away from you know previously open floor plans and great rooms and they want more uh, you know uh, defined rooms now because a lot of people are working from home now and people do see that as you said John as a, as a trend that's upcoming so um, that's just go very interesting to me. yeah yeah well, you know, and if you have any questions uh, in, in regards to this, where you have something to add, always feel, feel free to, you know, comment on uh, our video below and then feel free to subscribe to us and we'll be happy to, or, you know, or any questions, we'll be happy to keep our video coming to, uh, to answer some of those questions for you guys. All right. So until next time, guys, uh, we'll see you on Real Talk. See you later.